Hello, welcome back live to Westminster. You are watching The Take. Well, we can speak now to the Shadow Secretary of State for Education, Bridget Phillipson. Thank you very much for being on the programme. Um, we've been talking about uh, the Chancellor, Rishi Sunak, a uh, speech to the CBI. Uh, he said positive living crisis. W what do you want to see? The idea of a windfall tax, and by all accounts, it is a relatively popular policy as well. But I just want childcare and the Green New Deal, is that from borrowing? So what the government set out in their COVID response was they allocated money for that response, for the COVID response, we would have made that decision to prioritise support for children and families, which would have gone towards our children. Now, a Conservative MP arrested on suspicion of rape. Now, of course, we can't comment on the individual cases. It's very important not to. But it does feel like there's been an awful lot of stories from sexual harassment claims to MPs resigning for looking at porn to the most serious uh, allegations uh, of all. Is there a particular problem in Westminster with this kind of behaviour? Well, I think it... I think I can do... A, on, I'm going to whiz around this way instead. Here we go. Right, Michael Fabricant, uh, the Conservative MP. I, I'm expecting a strong turnout of Conservative MPs at... afraid, you know, serious sexual offences aren't a laughing matter. It's just completely unacceptable. I don't know what he's thinking. OK. Investigated uh, by the police uh, over allegations. He denies the allegations, but he has been invested by police over allegations that he broke COVID rules. He said if he's found guilty, he would resign. Mama, as the next Labour Prime Minister and down... ..on the programme today, Bridget Phillips.